But the way how it looks, it looks like he's fine. Yeah. But they'll try to get in your head, so you mess up, mess up your combos. Ah, you dropped that combo, bruv. Ah. That sense of victory is really addictive. <laughs> it literally felt like a fight at times, I'm not gonna lie. I'm Jane Lopez, and we are talking about fighting and fighting games. And to join me, I have Ryan Hart, pro fighting gamer, caster, and presenter. I know Tomlinson, comedian, voice actor, actor, gamer, and presenter. And King J, professional gamer and content creator. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks for having thanks us, for Jay. Having yeah, great good to, to be here. Good to have you here. Good to have you here. So, first thing we're going to talk about, obviously, is fighting games. Now, growing up, for me personally, the first fighting game I played was Street Fighter. Yeah. And then it came the Tekken. I haven't delved back into it since. So I need you guys to tell me a little bit more about the history of fighting games and where they are from then and where they are now. It would be good to know. So Ryan, yeah, you've been in this industry for a, a long time. I mean, I, you know, when I think about the history, it takes me way back to um, the late 80s uh, where you had games like Street Fighter 1 mm -hmm. that was a hot prospect. You had Street Smart and even before that on computer, you had IK+. Plus. Um, there's just a multitude of fighting games that, you know, graced our screens early on. Um, and they kind of set a precedent for what we could expect down the line because it was the first time you could actually interact with software to essentially beat up someone else without actually causing any... <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah, interact with the computer yeah. to bust somebody to else bust up. To rock up next man <laughs> without actually causing any physical damage. No, no, you know, you're not inflicting any real mm. pain. Um, and it is a great way to kind of get out some aggression as a, as a young, you know, healthy, aging teenager that wants to kind of express themselves. That was a, a platform for that. You know, yeah. that was an outlet, so to speak. So fighting games kind of invited people to come together. And mm. it was the first signs of a, a community that came from mm. people emerging to be part of a gaming network. And you're coming together in like arcades? Arcades, social clubs, you know, I used right. to go to a, um, a church every every Thursday. Right, you're like busting up man in church. Uh, 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 up man in church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In, in this church, they, in the evenings, I think every Thursday evening, they had a youth night where you could go play table tennis, pool, cool. um, and they had a computer. And oh, we used to gather sure. around the screen and play IK+. Mm -hmm. You know, split skick man in his chats, isn't it? You know, that's yeah. Exactly <laughs> how it so yeah, there was all these cool things you could do. And, and it was, it was, Brand new, yeah. brand new at the touch of a mm. button. You produce an action on the screen. It was mesmerizing as right. I was 10 years old. You know, I, yeah. I've never seen anything yeah. like it. Yeah, I know. Hey. Jay, what about your, you right, guys? Listen, you played in chess. I, I first, my first time I played Street Fighter was at Laundrette. The Lord Dread had like mm. a like an arcade, what? one cabinet. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, tell wait, the wait, 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 Two cabinets had, yeah. This is a great business model for now. Why don't they do this anymore? I don't Go know. do your washing and, and play yeah, a, well, a fighting game. Yeah, that's what it was for. That was it for. Because you waited like an hour for your your your, yeah. your washing. They had their Joe and Mac. It was like a oh, platform yeah. game. Joe and Mac, that. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mac, and then they had Street back. Fighter 2. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, Joe and <laughs> Mac was things. That was yeah, the yeah, But like, yeah, like when you were playing, people would come over, they'd watch you play, and then they'd put, their, they'd put like their, they'd put uh, some money on the side and say, like, I'm next, innit? <laughs> that was the sign. <laughs> so like that's how I kind of got my start. And then like like you, I just like like enjoyed the kind of like the culture of it. Mm. Because I, I always remember I went to the, the Future Entertainment Expo yes. 1993. Mm. And it was and they and they, uh, Super Street Fighter was just about to come out and they and they were doing a thing where whoever could beat like their world champion at the time would come would win like Street Fighter Super Street Fighter and a Super Nintendo. Nice. Everyone's out there, yeah. 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 And the thing about back in the day when it was like fighting games, everyone thought they were the best. There was no online. So if you beat up all your friends, you were the best. <laughs> you were the best. Because you beat everyone. Mm. As I thought he was. He yeah. Thought he was. Went, to, went to London. Until you get friends yeah. yeah. Went to London. <laughs> Found out about That's what it takes. Like, That's yeah. what it takes. Yeah. 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 That, that was good though because you kind of had a, a, a degree of success. Yeah. So, mm. you know, it kind of sparked, it ignited the flame. And then you went to a more um, developed community and yeah. got destroyed. And then wanted more from that because oh, yeah, yeah. that was a, 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 a kind of a, a new level of learning opportunity. Mm. And then yeah, yeah. I got mashed up. Yeah, we yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We were well champion, you know. We had to I, I made a mistake. It was me. I, I chose I chose DJ <laughs> instead of Ryan. <laughs> why why DJ as well? Yeah, yeah. DJ was a bad man. I was like, what? First man, I can't. He actually was a bad man. I got a couple wins and then I just got murked off by this guy. That guy won the whole tournament though. Right, he must he be the same guy. He won some, he won some waste, man. It's like, the same guy. Must have been the same guy. No. Must have been the same guy, clearly. What? <laughs> you know what? 
<laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know. Anyway, Jay, tell me about your experience you know, <laughs> in the fighting scene. Yeah, um, I'll probably talk about my competitive side because obviously they talk about when they first started. Mm. My competitive um, um, introduction to the scene was when I discovered like Trocadero and uh, oh, Casino. Yeah. 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 So I knew I was again like amongst my friends. We used to play like we used to put a pound down amongst each other, and like the winner would take all. And that's what I used to do. And I used to think I was the best. That's five day pass right there. So like, I thought I was the best amongst my friends. But then I, one of my friends was telling me about, oh yeah, there's people that play in Trocadero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, like, let me go over there. But, you know, that's Jamaican and that. He was like, nah, you're not going to central London. He's like, oh, there's loads of stabbings, blah, 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 blah. And I was oh. just like, all right, you know what? I just, I just, I didn't tell him. I just went there. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so I, I, this is when Tekken 6 was out. Like, in the arcades, it wasn't officially out. So, and I was yeah, like seeing, yeah. like, I saw you there, I saw Dinosaur, I saw quite, like, a couple play, um, players. And I was like, these guys are doing combos. Like, mm. I didn't know anything about combos. I just trash talk, just out and just win, they try and win the game. But there was actual structure to it. Like, you know, mm. there's maths in it, like, in terms of frame data, there's combos, there's a lot of mind games involved compared to what I knew. And... I just kept going there every Friday, every Friday. And I was asking like, some of the players, like, oh, when do you lot come? And they're like saying, Fridays is the, the day to go. And, you know, after, after like, you know, everyone's played and that, like the, the regulars, they, they will go to a place called One Keys in central London. I was just coming in, but I was just listening to everyone. They were all talking about like strats on right. certain moves and how to get past certain moves. And I was thinking, this is so amazing. Yeah. Right. And this is like when gaming wasn't like, gaming's big now, but before gaming wasn't, it was just like a little hobby. You just go there. And, underground. Yeah, yeah, under, yeah very, yeah, very yeah, underground. Yeah, yeah. And that was kind of my introduction. I, was, I just kept on going, kept on going and just wanted to learn and just be good at the game. And yeah, that was my introduction into fighting games. Yeah. And that's the thing, right? It is very strategic. It's very um, complex when you, like, you can't be a button basher if you want to move no. to the next level. So I think like, Ryan, tell me about your experience in the industry and like how you progressed up to this point. For me, you know, my journey took me along a path. I think that tournament with that guy was in 1994, so a long time ago, but just to give you a time frame. And then since that period, I had um, a trip to Japan in 98, where I was like the UK champion, but then went to Japan and then realized that I couldn't win there because I didn't know any data, I didn't know any frame data, I hadn't learned them, I hadn't studied the mathematics of the game. Question, mm -hmm. for those who don't know, like me, mm -hmm. what is frame data? Frame data is the body of work that the, that the software communicates through. Okay. How you actually use your characters to do combat. Great. Frame data is what is the law that the moves abide by. Okay. So, you know, if a punch is eight frames, then it's delivered in eight frames. And cool. that's the speed of the punch. Um, and the limitations of the matrix. Exactly, Got exactly. It. So you'll know how fast the move is, how slow a move is, if a move can be sidestepped, if it's straight, is it, is it linear, is it circular? Mm. Um, what block position do you have to defend in? Is it something you have to block low, mid? There are so many things to think about in just how the moves operate individually. Mm -hmm. Then comes combining them with other moves. Then comes defending against that and providing counters and things like right. that. So there's okay. a lot to think about in real time at a very, very fast pace. So mm. I think that's something that's very appealing to people that really become avid fans of the culture because mm. it's that attraction of this kind of hidden language. You won't really necessarily see if you watch a big esports um, present uh, production, but when you actually learn the format of the game and understand the, the system behind it, the science, yeah, you you realize, oh my god, this is so deep, and that's one of the things that got me into it. It wasn't that it's two people fighting; the fighting element, just that by itself, wasn't that big of a deal. It's like chess. It, it was, yeah, it was these psychological elements to mm. it. It was the fact that it's me trying to use my brain to outwit someone else's brain. Right. And when you accomplish that, that sense of victory is really addictive. All right, so my next question, Jay, because you are professional yeah. in this industry. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about your journey in this space and in terms of like where you're currently at, you know, I know you yeah. do obviously you stream on Twitch, but tell me about all the other aspects as well. What kind of doors the fight in game community and space has opened up for you? I've done like guides with like some of the best players in the world for Tekken and stuff like that, just to kind of teach people around the world like, how to play Tekken if they wanted to get involved mm, in Tekken. Yeah. I then moved into other games. I've done like uh, done some for King of Fighters. I've done, uh, I've done some for Soul Calibur. Um, I didn't do much for Street Fighter because I feel like Street Fighter has quite a few content creators that kind right. of do their own things. So it mm -hmm. didn't really make sense for me to try and get 
mm. then when they got their own channels. Find the niche, find the gap. Yeah, yeah. so, and obviously I feel like Tekken kind of was <laughs> quite niche for that, that type of content. I feel like, I don't know, I'm in a bit of a weird place right now because like, I know I can hang with the best of them when it comes to playing mm -hmm. like Tekken and stuff like that. But I feel like I've kind of gone into this content creation slash streamer type of realm. Now, since like obviously the pandemic, there's been a lot of people that kind of found their way in YouTube and Twitch and stuff. But I feel like I've kind of gone through a different type of lane with it. So mm. I've got my own studio where I do like my content and stuff like that, which is not in my house. Cool. Um, obviously, I've done like the whole billboard stuff with Twitch and YouTube as mm. well. So that was like an EU campaign. Let's go. Um, Love that. And there is no, there's like not a like, pro fighting game player that is a Twitch ambassador. So that All right. Was a, so you're a, the only one. I'm the only one. Props in, in to the world. you. Yeah. Well done. So that's, that's amazing. That's quite a big thing um, for people that don't know what the Twitch ambassador is. It's like basically, I don't want to say too much. Big up your chest. Big up your chest. Kind of digging your hole. If you want to know what the Twitch ambassadorship is, I can't say. <laughs> but you know what it is? It's, bas it's basically like, obviously, we're just ambassadors of like Twitch. So like, you know, they, we, we've got like, you know, we talk amongst each other and mm. there's like, um, they ask us for feedback and stuff. Got we it, we yeah, get yeah. to know. It's that sense. type of stuff, innit? We kind of... You're, you know, you're in the inner circle. Yeah, yes. we're in the inner you're circle. In the circle. You are the elite. Yeah, yeah. So... You're on the council. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically. So yeah, that, that's, my, that's my lane. And um, I kind of want to... I want more people to create content for fighting games, purely because I feel like what you said, fighting games is definitely like, it's, it's grown since where we came from, but I do feel like it's not where it should be. Mm. Um, and what I mean by that is there's a lot of brands that probably look at games like Tekken, but they don't even know there's a Tekken 7. They'll say, oh yeah, they remember Tekken 3. Mm. That's what I hear when I'm going right. to Expos from a company. a good one though. Yeah, yeah no, was Tekken 3 is like the second most uh, sold, sold, sold version. Yeah. 8.3 million copies sold of Tekken. That's, that's Tekken 7 just took over last month with yeah. 9 million copies sold. Right. Only recently. So, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So like, even like, so, but you, the thing is with that, see, we've got into this topic. You see this thing with Tekken 7? <laughs> oh, Lord, here we go. Nah, so we have to, have to <laughs> go, get to it. Yeah, 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 you know, season passes, patches, it's all stuff that, did it like the world mm. tours. Right, the that, world yeah. tours and that. Yeah, yeah. But then Tekken 3 done it with no world yeah. tours, yeah. no patches, yeah. no season passes. But is that because it was like, it had innovation in it though, compared to the previous one. Whereas mm, Tekken 7, like, how much are you going to innovate? Nah, I think, I, you know what, Tekken, Tekken 3, the reason why I think Tekken 3 was so big is because it actually felt like a, a proper fighting. Like, Tekken 7's cool and that, but you know, you got so much like, I don't know. I thought Tekken 3, for me personally, you had Harong, that was the in Taekwondo, you had Law, you had all Got these it. new characters that mm. were coming. Law has been there from like the yeah, start. Yeah, from the beginning, yeah. Harong came in, Taekwondo, Eddie came in, Capoeiro, you had Ling, you had Jin, that's, you know, like the main, well, Kazuya's son. It was just like, it was just like so much new things going on. Then you had a lot of new modes. Mm -hmm. Tekken 7 yeah. doesn't really have much had modes. that 2D fight yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You have to yeah. strike while the iron's hot and Tekken yeah. 3 kind of lived from the back of Tekken 2 success, which was a great, right. which was a great um, move for PlayStation 1. Yeah. Yeah. And Tekken 3 also on the same console, same format. A yeah. game that everyone knows and loves already with these new mm. characters, Eddie Gordo, Capo, wherever, mm. like yeah. 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 fresh yeah. original. Yeah. And Tekken 3 just hit that mark of the industry where we really needed this. This was the fresh, innovative idea that we were hungry for. And mm. it just hit the arcades at the perfect time. So basically time. Yeah. Wasn't too yeah. long before yeah. the console conversion after the arcade release. Mm. Like, they kept everything together. Brilliant yeah. marketing plan. Okay. Brilliant marketing they did, plan. They did what everybody wanted Street Fighter to do. Mm. Mm. So they, in terms of bringing it to 3D. And then he had Dr. Bosconovich, which was like a main, just a, a main secret Doctor character. Who? Dr. Dr. Bosconovich, you know, he's a Don still. Yeah. He's a bad he, man. Every time he pulls up a dinosaur called Gone. Who was that? Who was the one? one? Murakin or something? I don't know who you guys are talking about, but this is fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Dr. Boskonovic. He, so, he, he, he keeps on falling over because he's, back, he's got a bad back. And then man, he, basically, he will like, he'll fall over and then he will like, he will kind of blow himself up on the floor and just like bounce and up. Come, and come bounce up. Yeah, he's like a... But he has a bad back. Kind of like this, this <laughs> wacky, wacky, yeah. lives in the lab doctor. <laughs> so how does he blow himself up to get Bro, back up? He, he, so he has this like, it's he has this like, device and he's like, he has this Fart. Like, he kind of farts up and yeah. 
Yeah. No, wait, don't no, don't but wait, wait, wait. He has, does, he has, does he have the switch thing in his hand? No, yeah, he can press like Yeah, so I mean, can well, press I don't know to do the defense. My man's saying it's technology. My man's saying it's just flat chips. A push to put. What was he? But he's got, he's got like a remote device in his hand, isn't it? Yeah. But the way how it looks, it looks like he's farting. Yeah. Because he goes down and he kind of bounces up. And he just bounces up. Yeah. This is why there was that success. You see why? That's exactly why. Wait. So wait, I know. Yes. I think on this panel, you're the closest to me in terms of that. Like, obviously, these two are quite in the industry and quite... Yeah. I'm like, a casual fighter. Like, like you know, yeah, like yeah, vibes. Yeah, yeah. Just like relaxing for a bit. Do you still play fighting games? What's your current one of interest? And if not, why not? Do you know what? I've almost, not fallen out of love, but I've, it's harder for me to find No, no, no. Speaking to you. No, no, no. No, no, no. Back up. 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 Speaking the truth. Fighting games haven't gripped me like they did back in the 90s. My brother, come. You know what? I No. I explain why. I explain why. I explain why. Like, back in the day, like, fighting games for me was where, was those are the games you bring out when your friends come over. Yes. Like, you're not playing your Final Fantasy when you've got your three friends around. You, mm. you, you, bring, you, you bring it out in the fighting games. And like, yeah. okay. for me, my brother was always, my older brother was always the one bringing them back. He'd bring back, like, all the obscure fighting games. He'd bring back, like, Mesa, the Dark Age, all of these mm. N64, yeah, like, mad ones. And it's like, yo. And, like, it had some really cool, like, aesthetics, but it wasn't always about, like, as you say, they weren't deep in terms of, like, People weren't playing them to learn about the frame rate and the frame data and things like that yeah. and timings and, and counters and blocks. Yeah, right. yeah, we were yeah. just playing it because, yo, sure. I can I can kick man off the ring and, uh, and get a ring out. Right. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, that, yeah, that was yeah, the yeah. It was bare bones. It yeah, was bare bones. Yeah, yeah, it was bare bones like that. And so, like, those are the sort of games I played. But then when it came to online, that's where my, my love kind of dropped because it, it mm. felt like unless I was going to places like where you were going to, you were mm. going to... Yeah. I, I, like my friends weren't coming around to play those games, so I was forced to kind of play online. I always mm. remember like the first kind of online games I was playing, like DOA Four. Like it was a big deal yeah. when it was like one of the first like console online games mm. to play, On and the Xbox. lag was all over the place. Yeah, online yeah. functionality was yeah. really all over the place. In the beginning is in, su in such primitive yeah. stages. Mm. And primitive, yeah. A, a lot of the community dropped off uh, mm. when right. online was introduced because it just wasn't what you fell in love with it for. Exactly, right, it wasn't okay. the same level of. Um, offline interactions anymore because yes. there were people that were like, well, I can just play at home now. I don't need to come around. Mm. You know, so it, it just, okay. it, it, it caused a divide mm. in the community right, as well. Okay. Yeah. And because I was, I was used to like playing with now, people. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm like, you guys, I like trash talking when I'm playing these games. Even but if I'm no good, I'll trash talk, get in your head. <laughs> so you so you mess, about, mess up your combos. Ah, oh, you dropped that combo, brother. Oh. And, yes. then, 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 <laughs> and But like, you can't really, you can do that over Xbox Live, but it's not the same. Because yeah, they can just mute right. you. You definitely got muted. You know why? You know why you can't. Oh, mute, I know, yeah. Mute. It's because <laughs> <laughs> and I was on that, yeah. <laughs> you, you you get mute, but not not only that. Like my thing is, when you're trash talking, you want to see the other person upset. True. Yeah. You want to yeah. see the physical. You want to see the damage. Yeah. You want to see the like, oh, we say now. We said, and you. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Silent. Silent. Yeah. And, and yeah. Yeah. what I felt like online did is you, you. It then created stuff like rage quitting, which for yes, the people exactly. that don't yeah. know, it's like, oh, if you're about to lose, people will either yep. pull the plug, so then they don't. It, you don't get the win, and they don't yeah. get the exactly. Loss. And that's when. And yeah, Online yeah, I, but and the early, and and the, a lot of the early games, there, there was like no penalization no for like, yeah. like, yeah. Even like the infrastructure, the infrastructure yeah. wasn't there. The infrastructure yeah. wasn't there for the, for the for that. So you're, you're getting all these laggy games, and then you're getting beaten by people. And then when you finally do get to beat someone, they they drop, they, they yeah. just before they're about to lose, they, they Got it. disconnect yeah. and stuff like that. And like it, yeah. it, it took that love away from me. Like don't don't get me wrong, I still play games like I, like. I picked up like stuff like Guilty Gear Strive and things like yeah, that, and, I, and, like, and I'm enjoying Much like playing nice. with them. Yeah. But, like, yeah. but it's, it's it's not the I'm not getting that same feeling. Yeah. Like the last time I had that feeling was Killer Instinct, I think, uh, and and that was yeah. like the last time yeah. where I was like, yeah, this is where we're beating people up, and the combos were mad, and people were watching in the arcade, seeing you do these mad ultras, and then you hear the cabinets going, ultra combo, yeah. shout out loud, everyone knew guess. what you were doing. It's like, yo, this guy did an ultra because the sound was loud when you did the combo, yeah. so loud. And one of, one of the things, well, just to add quickly, is like, yeah. he was saying about, you know, how online kind of turned him off of the whole thing, the whole scene, right? This thing that he mm. really loved, which is a big deal. 
But then one of the problems as well is now you kind of have this new format of communication where because they're in front of a PC screen, they'll treat you a certain well, way. Well, this is my money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Oh, taking okay. my lead. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Let's, Let's go, go then. Oh, yeah. Let me hear that. <laughs> you know you what I'm here to talk about. Yeah, 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 I know, yeah, I know yeah, where you're going. Yeah. I know where you're going. With. We'll get there. We're going to no, get there. No, it's, a slow, it's a slow journey. Yeah, yeah. It's a slow road trip. So, yeah, you know, and, and you're in this social community when right. it's offline, when people are there in person. Yeah. And if you do combos at the arcade, people are behind you getting hyped. Oh, my God, did you see that? What that connects? Yeah. People are getting excited with the entertainment that's yeah. happening on screen. Mm, yeah. And online, that's all gone, that's all dead. There's no community there. There's, it's just another person that might be who they say they are mm. on the other side of the world. Earlier off camera, we were talking about, you know, rub the web on, <laughs> rub that person before you rub the other person. That's, <laughs> the, right. cool, cool, that's cool. The, the nature. Metaphorically. Yeah. Metaphorically, but that is the nature of like, um, of fighting games in terms of, if it's a place where you said you can like release aggression and stuff. I know you pointed out that, you know, the online aspect, a lot of, Half so of the I community. Don't mean to laugh. I don't mean to no, laugh. I'm going. <laughs> no, no, half, I don't mean to laugh. Let me get my point out. Half, yeah, half, half the community in. dropped off, right? Mm, mm. So the women in this space, do you think one, they dropped off because, like, are there many, first of all, in the UK, obviously specifically? Um, and do you think this whole drop off of women, if there, if there was one, happened because of the online aspect when it comes to fighting games? Or in person, were there many women in those spaces as well? Uh, at least for me, growing up in the arcades where there were a lot of women that played. The ones that were really good, there were two main reasons why okay. they disappeared. One was they didn't appreciate the way they were treated in the community when they were in. Right. And the second one is just life. You know, life took over. They yeah. got busy with other things. Yeah. and they left. Those are the two biggest mm. things. You know, it's the, well, you know, I got disrespected. And I'm talking about really good players, not just people that, you know. Not casual players not, not like just, me. Not, <laughs> yeah, not, not, just, not just women that knew a little bit. Women that were competing at the t highest level. And, right. and I'm talking about when I was in Japan, where, mm. where the yes. best of the best play. I, I talked to a lot of those players and, and you know, yeah. Um, I remember this, this one lady, phenomenal player. Right. And she just disappeared. She literally just didn't come down to the arcade anymore. No one knew what happened to her. And I talked to her brother. Her brother was also a really good player. Mm. And uh, yeah, she, he just said like, she just didn't like the way she got treated. Oh, no. Like people, yeah, mm. because it's one end or the other. It's like, you're appreciated to the point where people are kind of um, starting to speak to you in, in, inappropriately, to start making certain kind of advances. Oh, and, no. and, and this is in person. So this is something where online yes. helps women because right. you're not seated in range of someone in a proximity where Who's they can feel, touch you. Yeah. You know, they can mm. rub, rub elbows and try and get too friendly. Mm. And, and she actually appreciated online for that element. That's a really good lens. To yeah, see. so that there see. was that. Um, and then the other thing is just the that lack of respect. The lack of respect, you know, because it's a woman beating everyone, then there has to be a, a reason. There has to be an. It can't just be that she's really good because mm. she was really good. I played her. She was we really, really good. We see that in other genres of games as well. Um, it, it's not mm. as common. Obviously, gaming is um, you know predominantly male people that find it um, appealing or, or get deep into the depths of it. And is that true? I don't think numbers that's, wise. I, I, don't think that's I, don't, I don't think that's true. The, what you think that more half the player base you think currently that more professional is 50%. players are women. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Not that's what I'm saying. Deep, deep into the depths of, of you mean, but that's also because of access and opportunities. When it comes to like men, can get that far. When it comes to women, can they get that far without advocation and being in the in the space and in the door? Well, no one's stopping anyone from going online and getting to Tekken God Omega on on rank. <laughs> But, no, but, 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 but however, when it comes to like opportunities and the marketeers and what the do you PRP, opportunity? It's literally loading a console and pressing go. What do you mean opportunity? I, 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 In I terms think of it's, taking I think that it's like a representation. Traveling, I think it's like a like doing the traveling. So you and mean all of the offline stuff. aspect? Yeah. So the, in the offline aspect, anyone is allowed to enter any of these tournaments worldwide. There's no sexual discrimination. No one says because you're a woman right. you can't enter. It's free reign. Any woman can be. There are women who are in the Tekken world to cuddle core. Well, yeah, cuddle core. She's lady. a BGD member. Yeah, you know, there's been a Yu Yu, a Mimi, right. and Tanit Kana. I mean, there's a long list of successful women players who are professional in what they do and are still around and active today. So there's definitely no discrimination there. Once they're in the scene, though, I think it's different for those women that are very established, like those ones, those household names that we know now. Got it. But I think more. Well, your point is in the early stages when no one knows who they are and they start winning. And it's like, who are you to think you're, you know, okay. a lot of men might take that personally and they get offended because they're losing to a woman. I think that's the part that's, that, that's, an, that's an issue I've heard about. Right. You're only reacting like this because I'm a woman. But I'm also thinking about when people just search up for someone who's a professional in gaming, okay. are they going to go search up for a woman? Yeah. I've, I've, do you know what it is? I what, think what do you mean by that? So, uh, for instance, pretend I'm a brand marketer, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm here looking for, I need a player from this sponsorship. 
I'm mm. going to look for top fighting game players. Okay. Look in the list on the article, top 10, they're most likely going to be men. So... So that's what I'm talking about, access in terms of... That's a problem, of, you mean? Yeah. Why is that a problem? If, be if, because if, where's the, where's the de gender diversity in that? No, I mean, if the top 10 fighting game players are men, that, why is that a problem? If they're the no, best. I, I, see, I see what Jay's saying. Because it's, 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 not, it's, not like a, it's like a representation thing. Because like, it's like... No, no, it's, no, it's, it's like, why, it, why would you go somewhere where there's no one like you there? It's kind of like the same oh, thing. No, so I, get, I, get that so I get that there's a deterring element for women. They come in and they see all men and it's a bit overwhelming. Yeah. I completely understand yeah. that. But yeah, I, I guess it's difficult. That is not an easy problem to deal with if that's something that bothers you. Is, would you say there's structural deterrent? For, for me personally, I just loved the game itself. It, I didn't come in because the people were looked a certain way or they, they were men. If it had all been women, I just love the game so much. I just want to play the game. But I'm just women, are they the most game. likely to put the obstacles or put the environment in your way that you won't feel comfortable enough? Or mm. are they most likely to even just be like, oh, you're cool, you're great, and still look for another woman? Yeah, no, I, I think women were probably more welcoming in that aspect. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I think men are more sort of upfront and maybe they're more challenging. But no, no I don't want to, you know, I don't want to generalize. I think, no, 100%, I think, I think in every in field there are people. I have heard these horror stories of, you know, this guy didn't let me in the guild. This guy didn't let me be part of the team. I couldn't do that because I'm, I'm a woman. About I've, heard, I've heard about yeah. it. Yeah. So okay. those things that, um, but what I was talking about before was more like the professional direction. Understood. It's not just a person having fun on, in their free time mm -hmm. or on their PC, which, which should, should also not be an issue as well. But um, yeah, so I do, I do think that, you know, there are some issues that we need to tackle there. It's, a, it's sad that such a, a great thing that we all love and share as a passion mm -hmm. has all these unnecessary problems. I think um, back in the day, like with, when I talk about like, you know, the offline scene, like the mm. whole arcade and stuff, I think it wasn't, I'll be honest, I don't think it was easily accessible for the women because they might feel like, you know, shy and stuff to try and be around. If there's a, it, there was a lot more guys mm. playing the game than, than the women. I, I have to be honest with that. But I do feel like stuff like, you know, streaming on like these stuff like Twitch and stuff that kind of helps them Kind of get, the yeah, space. Mm. and gain their confidence and stuff like that. Same with the guys as well. But mm. I just think with the women, it's like they can kind of gain their confidence. They don't have to feel like, oh, yeah, this person's following me or that person's kind of like looking at me a weird way. Or, mm. you know, it's literally you're going to play games and you're going to have fun. Mm. You know, they have their moderators that will watch the chat and whatever, whatever. So I feel like it gives them a freedom to do what they want to do and play mm. the games that they love. So I do feel like obviously online is kind of like, I feel like it's, it's a good and a bad. I see the bads from mm. it, definitely. Like, but then I also see the goods where it allows people that maybe not as upfront or, you know, some people might be introverts and they might not want to mm. come out. And but they are in their space and they they can stream and do stuff. Yeah. So I think yeah, I think yeah. the yeah. games could play a bigger part in in bringing people in, though. I, like definitely, oh, definitely. Because I think it's about to say advocation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, like, do men it, advocate for women in this space and put them? Their I, names think, I think the games could definitely do like a, a better job, especially because like they're, at the minute, like a lot of fighting games are focusing on trying to get the casuals in, making it easier to play, yes, yes, adding yeah. in lots of different tutorial things to kind of get to understand the, the mechanics guides, behind yeah, the game, mm -hmm. where previously they never used to do that. Right. And so like, like they're trying to get people in, so they, they want more casual people to come in, but obviously the ceiling is still quite high in terms of how to master these games. Mm -hmm. But like, I think in terms of like characters, that like the representation still isn't there for me. When you look at like the LGBTQIA plus like community, there's like, I could try and think of characters in video games and maybe there may be a couple in Soul yeah. Calibur, maybe, I don't know. But like, they, but like in terms, I, like there needs to be more of that because I think back to when I first played Super Street Fighter, I told mm, you, yeah. I picked DJ to fight one of the world's best champions. Like I've never played this character before. Super Street Fighter wasn't even out. Right. But I picked him because he was a black Jamaican mm, guy yeah. and, so I, and, and it represented me. Yeah. I'm, I mained Ryu. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I chose, I chose this character I've never played with before to play the champion because right. that's who represented me. And I was only a kid. And so, like, when I look at these games, I want to, like, whenever I play any type of game, whether it's a, like, fighting game or, like, or, like, a racing or, or any genre of title, I, whenever there's an opportunity for characters that are, resemble who I am, yeah. I always gravitate towards them. And I feel like the fighting game scene, like when it, especially when it comes to like female characters and, and maybe and, and non-binary, it's that like representation isn't really there. Like the female, it's, it's always like scant clad, big thighs. Like this, like you don't get any well, other body what? types when it comes to the female characters in most fighting games. I don't want to say all. Most, most of the ones yeah. that I've played, like you, they're always very sexy compared to some of the other guys. You always get the bigger guy or the butch guy, or you got the slimmer guy or, you, or the yeah. other guy. But when it comes to the ladies, it's like the sexy Ivy or it's, or it's Cammy or it's Chung Lee and then them ones. And it's like, 
like, like this. So, so you it's know similar. what though? There was one game, Ryan. I don't know if you you. I reckon you will know this mm. though. There was one game where it had like a butch lady, and that was Mary from Tobo, Tobo One mm-hmm. and Two. Mm-hmm. So like the character was just like kind of like a wrestler, but quite butch. Mm. And I was like. I have never seen this type of like body structure mm. right. before, and I was young for a female character. Female yeah. character yeah. I've never seen it because I, I was young at the time. And I was like, oh yeah, this character looks like really strong, like you know, female. And when I used to play the character and see like the damage and stuff, I was like, wow, oh, this character's really good. Why is there not much characters like that? Fast forward on, you know, PlayStation Two's come. I ain't seen it. PlayStation Three, PlayStation Four, mm. on PS Five. The only character that I can think of. He's a Street Fighter 6 character, but let me not say anything. But yeah, anyways. Man, like, hold yeah. it down, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Don't say that. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, 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 nah. Wait, wait, wait. Cut, cut. Anyways. Um, no, nah, you don't really see it that much, in it. So no, that's because, I'm I mean, a lot of the games come from Japan, don't they? And in Japan, there's, a, there's, a, there's an expectation of what... A, 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 a required female character in a fighting game should look like yeah. or needs to look like for in order for the game to sell. Scotch and, and, they look, and they never so, look old. So, there's, there's, old. so there's, a, there's a business plan behind yeah. the creative vision of characters. You know? yeah. um, but then that's also, my thing. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, go on. I know. But then sorry. also with the character representation, there's also the the back end of that where it gets a bit, you know. They use specific stereotypes in games where right. I mean, like, well, even for, even for black protecting. characters. I mean, right? oh my god, yeah. Deca- yeah. Decathlete, 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 this um, track and field game made by Sega. There we go. Right, and <laughs> the one black character, the one black character. <laughs> Did we need I'm to laughing, hear anything else? I'm laughing already. I'm laughing already. I don't know where the frame for this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing already. I'm laughing. I'm laughing. No, 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 no. His first name was Robin, and his surname was Banks. No. Chief. Chief. Cheers, everyone. Let me grab a drink for that one. <laughs> Robin <laughs> Banks. I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah, so what else do I need to say? Yeah, that's, that's kind the of only bad. black guy, Robin Banks. <laughs> so wait, so it's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. It's bad but you're just bad. like you, you're what you're reading it, and you're like, why? So wait, hold on. With with um the fighting game genre, yeah. Obviously, games are now diversifying. Social media has been very vocal in terms of what people want to see in games. Mm, yeah. What the developers should be working on now. We see game studios have like chief diversity officers, etc. Has the fighting game community kind of missed out on this new era of like diversifying yeah, games, yeah. changing the structure, even the people behind who are creating those games? Because obviously, it seems like we're still getting the same manufactured stereotypes in these characters. Oh, am I missing something? Because I'm not in this space. I think the structures change in terms of how they're making money. I'm dead. Yeah, like I'll be honest, because obviously season pass has been a thing from yeah, that's been from previous games. But it's like DLC for days. DLC, yeah, yeah, all day. For they keep buying costumes and costumes stages. Yeah. They make they make you buy the in-game ingredients so that you have a complete package by the right. end of spending a certain number of uh, so like Sims, but certain yeah, number of hundreds. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll keep going with that, and they'll. They'll encompass offline things with online things. So Got there's it. like an offline tour that people are traveling to that will have, depending on who wins it, a certain costume that that's you can now, activate that in that, that's now DLC content. Just like the metaverse kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, <laughs> They're yeah. trying to link things to the like that, digital yeah. IRL. Yeah, so I was saying like they that that's how they've changed it, but in terms of like diversity and stuff like that, in terms of the characters, I feel still feel like it's the same, like, you know, characters like that are elderly mm. women always look Young. So, and this is my thing, yeah? Because I used to dabble in a little mm. bit of Wing Chun for a couple of years. Yeah. And I've never had an issue with Chun-Li's thighs. Because mm-hmm. when you, you do kicks over oh, and over, you? fam, your thighs wham. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I was proud of myself when I was doing Wing Chun. However, Wing yeah. Chun was created by a woman. Right. And, you know, she obviously practiced for a lot of her life. Mm-hmm. But you don't see, like you said, that older, more mature representation of women who are masters of their craft. Right in these games and my question is like why not i would love because it doesn't they, it doesn't sell that's what that's the way how i feel um, i don't think I, that's not what i'm saying yeah, but, but i that's feel what like you... i feel like those fighting game developers they look at it and think if we make this character age would that be appealing to everyone else probably not so they what they i'm not saying it is. no no no, no, I'm, no I'm, just, I'm just saying the mindset of it yeah yeah so yeah. they probably think all right cool we have to make them young like kazumi and tekken she's meant to be old but she looks like really young like a doll 
Mm. And then if you look at Nina, Nina's not aged. At Anna's all. not aged. Cryogenically all these, yeah. frozen. Mm. They don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Add yeah, to the yeah, story. Yeah. They, they have to yeah. find the story. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. It's got a clone now as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just for the law. Anything to prevent the aging. She now has oil of Ole. You go, go, go. So, so, so what, what I, I just remembered when he was explaining that is um, there's one game that comes to mind, one fighting game that comes to mind where the old woman is the most fun and best character in the game. It's called Power Instinct. Power Instinct. It's a I'm very not, old Super Nintendo game. Stand no, 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 no. no. And this knew, lady, <laughs> this old lady, <laughs> who's like knitting cardigans mid-fight or whatever, she takes her and teeth, out teeth out and throws them at you. <laughs> It's her fireball, it's her projectile. She wow. throws her dentures at you. She wow. said the Duke with her teeth. Yes, yes, that's her projectile. That's her one off the Duke. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 she Power don't instincts. even throw it at you. She jumps up and the teeth come and out. Keep, yeah. <laughs> and they like they talk to you on the way to you. They, they, like, they chat. Yeah. They're, they're, they're literally <laughs> gnashing teeth coming towards you. Like it's sick. Oh, wait, no, it's that's sick. so rude. Oh, no, but she's no, sick though. But it's, and, but, but, because but it's still a stereotype. But because of the because of the comical aspect, she became the most popular character in the game yeah so it. it worked their strategy worked right that elevated her to the top of the hierarchy of popularity and there was there was twi- there, this there, one there twins like, this is one thing there was two of them as well there was twins they, her name's om and i can't remember the other one there was two of them mm. and mm. they're both like they're both like re- that really old short like i think that was part two when the twins came in it was just a yeah, one granny yeah, in part yeah, one yeah, yeah. Okay. So the part one was one yeah, and then yeah. the part two was it's a mess it's a mess it's a mess so anyway, my point is there is a, a platform for older women. Is there? No, that was it. That's, that's, that's one game. That's, 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 that's one game. That was 20 years ago, you know. <laughs> that, that game is, that game is like... Oh, no. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I don't know if you had to have a successful ago. old woman character, you'd have to frame it properly. Correct. You'd have to. How would you like, frame it? Would have to make se- like she'd have to be a, a judo grandmaster or something. But then, that's, that's what I'm like, saying. Yeah, you, you that know, and, and her moveset would have to be really like. I don't think Makoto wouldn't be successful but as a character if she that? was older. I Hold don't on. think she wouldn't sell. I think but she would do we still have that popular. justification no, for so. male characters in games? Because the move set sells. Yeah, Once success is proven on the battlefield, the age doesn't matter anymore. People start winning stuff. But do you think that people would want to choose this character if she was? looks elderly and does judo. If she's good, yes. If she's good. Yeah, if she wins, yes. If you're picking if you're picking your young slender character and every time you go to a tournament you lose to this older judo lady, you're gonna trust yeah, me. That's oh, true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it's all about the DLC though. It's all about the DLC. It's all about the DLC. What DLC is old lady? And then new dentures, what? And then New Dentures. Get out. Oh my god, the gold tooth. You know, she got a visa line for the next one. Hey, 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 I'm wearing this line. Hey, no, no, no. Invisalign slander off the table. Off the table. I wear Invisalign, fam. You're calling me old. When I dashed them out, you outside the room. Now you're going to find out. <laughs> All right, wait. So to bring it back now, in terms of. Because one thing about me in terms of fighting games, I fell off because I got bored of the fighting on the X axis, you know? So like yeah, here, yeah. here, and maybe you can strafe a little bit, but it's always here. So mm-hmm. I know you guys are gonna trust me, but the kind of game that I like was like Ninja Storm, you know, Naruto, because of the, uh, the access, yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah. the movability. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's an arena. Days. That game's yeah, got yeah, a complete yeah. community. That game's got tournaments yeah. and stuff. Okay, so you're not gonna laugh at me. All right, cool. Yeah, you're right. Good. Right. So like, that is what I wanna see more of, you know, mm. the more arena kind of feel where mm. it feels, Evolved. I, I feel like fighting games are stuck. Well, each of you, I'm gonna go yeah. this way. Yeah. What do you think game are fighting games missing anything? And if they are, what is it? Do you if validate you, my opinion? I validate what you're saying. Naruto's good, Boruto's trash. I just wanna get out of this. Oh, well, we, <laughs> we knew that. We yeah. Knew yeah. That. yeah. But I wanna say uh, fighting games are I think fighting games like from back in the day to now, I feel like they've kind of gone a bit backwards. I feel like they're kind of trying to catch up to what's going on around. So that's why we spoke about the DLC and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I do feel like fighting games back in the day, they always had something different. So like, I remember Rival Schools, they had like a ton of different modes. They had one mm-hmm. disc, which had story mode. Yeah. And then they have they had the evolution disc, which had like loads of different things that you mm-hmm. can do. And it was kind of like, 
unique to the character. So there was a character that plays football, you know, or soccer, and he was you, you'd be able to like shoot and you get um, points no matter where it okay. goes and the thing. There needs to be more stuff for more like people that just don't want to play the one v one to kind of get involved. So just more mini games. Let people have fun with these games and, and, and just, I feel like these fighting game developers need to just, they need to be able to take risk now. They don't really take yes. much risk. It's always arcade versus mm. practice online. <laughs> if you don't like the game, go play go Dota play or League of Legends. Yeah. That's it. That's how it is. I got a couple things. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Come through. Number one, online is, is, is shockingly disappointed because Community and like community is such a huge thing for the fighting game community mm -hmm. that like I'm I'm astounded that the online isn't as good. The infrastructure for a lot of these games aren't as good as they should be. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of games are incorporating like rollback net play and stuff like that now, but like I want to see proper lobbies. Like back in the day, like I, I even even though I didn't like the game, like the online portion of it, like I remember DOA four. They had like a nice. Everyone had like little characters, and you could walk around. You could watch different matches. That's cool. You yeah, can yeah, like yeah, yeah. You, can, you can bow out. You can change the different settings. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can communicate with people, chat to people. Like no, that stuff's there now. Like I don't I don't see that like with a lot of the games. A lot of games it's just bare basic. It's just you and me. That's it. And Make money. Exit the lobby. Sell bring someone that's else it. in. Yeah. And, it, and it's like and like I, I know some games they do do it, but it's, it's bare minimum stuff it's, mm. especially when like when you think about how the, how the advancements of a lot of other multiplayer games of how they've incorporated multiplayer yeah. like fighting games should be there as well and also like representation of the characters I, I need to see more LGBTQ plus IA characters in there and, and that not tokenizing I know like fighting games are about stereotypes and like exaggerating different things to kind of emphasize some of their moves but yes. there's also room for something in there why not we've had like 30-40 years of fighting now. games I, like, I want to see something done. new in there and I think it will bring in new people people into the fighting uh, like fighting game genre that we haven't had already and it will also encourage casual people like me to mm. be a bit more invested into it when I, there's characters that I like, yeah I, I feel like I'm, this character represents me. Um, you know fighting games at their core are hard products and a lot of the solutions that people want today are just make fighting games easy but then if you do lots of different things, you know, if you enter into the world of mi a million mini games, then you embark upon territory where your mini game is basically trying to be something that's already out, that's its own thing, that's really good, and so standalone product. And okay. so the mini game doesn't have as much value because you you end up making like a side scrolling beat em up, like a Tekken Force, but then Tekken yeah. Force isn't as good as your average side scrolling beat em up, so yeah. you might as well have that. So. Fighting games doing what fighting games do isn't the problem, you know, because that's what they stand for. This is what they've always been and this is what they want to be. And we have to think about what the developer's creative vision is. That's what they want it to be. It's not a mistake. That's what they wanted. And that's, that's the reason we have millions of games to choose from. Not everything is supposed to appeal to everybody. I understand that. You know, and so I think it's cool that we have a choice of this type of game, that type of game, that type of game. And what we can do to improve fighting games, I think, is hold the consumer's hand a bit more on the way into learning the game. Mm. Teach them how to get good at the game. Yeah, they get better the, at that. Teach them the value of the psychological elements. Teach them the value of strategy. Why is it fun? Not just these moves are easy. Because these moves are easy isn't going to help you to beat the 20 year veteran that's sitting at home online who's played mm. all the versions before you and knows every character. Mm. What's going to help against that player is learning what strategy means, how to define strategy. Okay. Teaching someone how to use their own brain, manipulate the software and create a formula of victory. That is how you get someone in the game and that's mm -hmm. how you create a loyalist on a product. What we do now, if we do an L's option of uh, introducing LGBTQ characters, giving him everything he wants from a one player campaign mode, he'll buy the game, sure. The, the, the retailer and the, the pub devs will have his money, sure. They will play it, go online, get rinsed and say, this game's brass, I'm leaving. Or they realize it's going to take work to get good at this. It's going to be that, difficult. That, that's, the, that's the issue because it's the, online is so, the online is infrastructure is so bad, these, get, these fighting games are all single player. You mm. have to do it on your own. And why can't you do all these tutorials and things as a group? Why not? Why can't it be like, but yeah, everyone's trying to now, yeah, but everyone's trying... going to try and fix it. Right. Right. Not going to help each other. Why, why, is, why does it have to be, I have to sit down by myself, learn all the frames that are about this character, go on YouTube and find They've out all these different things like by said. myself. Bro, why can't I do it as a group online, Bro. as part of the game? Play Among Us if you want to be in a group. Wow! Oh, no, 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 this is wow. <laughs> Disrespect. Wow. So what are we He's saying, I'm not welcome. He's saying, I'm not welcome. I'm not welcome. 
<laughs> I feel like I like I like your idea though because they are starting to introduce online training modes where like yes. we can play together online yes. and practice. But this so is doing the that point. Yes, but this is twenty well. years too late. But this is, no, <laughs> this no, is no, twenty years too late. Honestly, <laughs> and that's why I feel like cool. We have like you. You come across as like a very classic person. He likes the classic structure mm. of you. I'm thinking about the new people coming exists, out now. The, the young kids coming out. But now. there needs to be separate. Right, there needs to be an, like a. Fighting game RPG. Like, definitely, like, what you were saying, Smash my Brothers. thing was like, no, 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 no. I'm talking about where you can Open customize. World. Oh, in that sense. Customize your uh, own character. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can choose their, their actual play style, their fight style, what kind of um, martial art they're choosing. Hold up, you're telling it, me, I'm finished yet. <laughs> Absolver is kind of one like that. <laughs> you're going to say that? Are you going to say Absolver? No, she's going to say There are those other, something. other, like, RPG elements, like For Honor and, like, those other kind of games that have a different fighting. No, you mean something else, though. I know what you're saying. But yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, to yeah. say, like, that needs to replace the core structure of what fight... But you can widen the genre, and that's my thing. Like, horror games used to be very different to what they are now. You have right. Until Dawn, um, Man of Midden, I can't pronounce that name, but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that... It, essentially evolved the horror genre to be yeah, a bit more... Very different. Resident mm -hmm. Evil, very different. different. Yeah, very but different. But they're still the same lane. They're mm -hmm. just different experiences. And whilst we do have a lot of fighting games, they still do resonate on this same very classic experience. Mm -hmm. And I kind of would love to see something different that would highlight the representation. And then you could still have the classic mode somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. I'm not saying get rid of those classic modes. Those classic Me modes are, are classic for a reason. Mm -hmm. And it's why everyone loves them. It's why there's so many amazing tournaments around Jay that. Say but also... <laughs> I know, are you coming, but, uh, but like... But I'll also, it, I'm, I'm just saying like that the community element that I'm that I'm pining for that I lost all those years ago is gone because it's the sole focus is on you gotta get good. You gotta get your fight stick, Can't you gotta just, learn your yeah. thing by yourself. And like and the only way you can get good is if you fight beat someone else who's even tougher, and then you have to get good by beating up getting beaten up. Like, why is there no way of like being a community thing you where want it's a like, happy place? Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm just saying we can't no, people together. But the, but, the, but, the but the beauty of fighting games is that you can play on any level. You can be the button masher course, and be happy. You can like have, most, you can have most, your friends around the couch on Friday night and play. Games, and, but there is even that. the low level. You're getting taunt. <laughs> Jay, so what are you going to say? Jay, so what are you going to say? Let's let Jay go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was laughing at them. They made me laugh. But yeah, you know, the open world thing, that's actually happening with Street Fighter 6. They've actually showcased that they're doing an Sick. open world where you can create your own character and stuff like that. I do feel like it is, it's really, really late at the minute because I feel like where where games was before, there's like, you know, Tobal 1 and 2, they had like quest mode, which is like mm -hmm. open, running around. Air uh, guys had um kind of like a dungeon the top thing. Down thing. Yeah, yeah, the top-down yeah. thing where you had to go and get like weapons and stuff. And it was different. It was very different. And that, those were the, I think the PlayStation 1 had more room for experiment, mm -hmm. which sounds weird because PlayStation 5 is like a, it's, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, so a I beast. feel... Yeah, it's a beast. So I feel like <laughs> fighting game can definitely be like, it can be the traditional 1v1, but I also do feel like they can have like a main mode where you can just explore things, interact with characters, and just kind of like just do things yeah. so that people don't, you don't have to be the best and oh, like, you know, you're trying to be Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Why can't I run around like three of us running yeah. around like tag team and then we run up to three other guys? He just wants to have, like, have, yeah. have, have a little but, three on three fight, I mean, fight, yeah. fight, fight, and then the three of us walk off, go yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Kind of boxing That's the it. fighting game genre into one on one 2D platform linear battles. Exactly. But, but you know, you've got you've got Power Stone, you know, like you're saying, like, oh, it's like 25 years. No, Power Stone is from the 90s. You've got. Guys, you've, you've, got, you've got you've got like um you've got um two two versus two games, you know, X-Men versus Street Fighter, you've got three versus three well, games. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the night got, that's the nineties, right? X-Men versus yeah, 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 King of Fighters. They're all like 10, 15 years apart from King of Fighters. But that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. So we That's one! No, I'm just, no. <laughs> what I'm saying is, we do, Streets of Rage 4 is not that old. That's a fighting game. Yeah, of course. You can, play, I, with, you can I, play with your mates. That's a different I would say now. that's a beat em up. But that's what yeah, I'm saying. there's a difference. That's what I'm saying. Why are we boxing fighting into only these ones? Because those are the ones that games? dominate. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Because, 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 because we're not playing, we're but, not playing no, Streets of Rage every, professionally. It's not eSports Streets of Rage. It's eSports Street Fighter. Listen, listen. Every person's fighting request is not to be on this 2D platform and throw special moves at each other. I know that. So they're also, That's why Smash Brothers did so well. So there's also room to explore a lot of these fighting game ideas in these other forms of fighting game. Yes. That's what I'm saying. You can oh, yeah. spread That's it out. Yeah, I think that's what we're saying the same thing. Your idea with 
going around mashing up man with your friends is probably more applicable in <laughs> a different like London, format. Not gonna it's yeah. probably more enjoyable in a different way. You really want to go in a straight line with your brethren, yeah? No. No, no, no. So I'm, I'm talking about 3D map, yeah, walk around, find some 300 million, jump into the 2D but team. But then it's not that That's anymore. That's a couple of men. But what I'm trying, to make, what I'm trying to get you to identify is then it's not that anymore. If, 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 you, if you experiment too much and go too out of it, 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 it removes what it meant to be. Mm. I understand your point. Mm. But I also understand your point that, you know, some people just don't want to have to be like, oh, the best. <laughs> and on that note, thank you guys for, for joining me. This is really yeah, it animated. Heated, it? <laughs> <laughs> it literally felt like a fight at times. I'm not going to lie. That fight and energy. Listen, know? my frame data was some, I don't know. What you're <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fight y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for joining Pleasure. me. Now it's oh, been amazing. Thank I thank you, you so much. Thank you. So clearly that conversation was heated just like Street Fighter. Tekken, whatever game is your choice. Join us for more conversations and don't forget to subscribe.